Hello, I'm Rob, and I am going to attempt to do some programming, with the ultimate goal of hopefully one day becoming a programmer. Today is Saturday, September the 13th, 2014, which is the 256th day of the year, which makes it Programmer's Day. So happy Programmer's Day, everybody. Programmer's Day is an international professional day recognized in many technology companies and programming firms that is celebrated on the 256th day of each year. So there you go. Today is that day. So let's crack on with some programming for Programmer's Day. The goal of today's video is going to be the Fizz Buzz Test. The Fizz Buzz Test is a classic interview question designed to help filter out the 99.5% of programming job candidates who can't seem to program their way out of a wet paper bag. So let's uh, read the problem and come up with a solution. Write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100, but for multiples of 3 print fizz instead of the number, and for multiples of 5 print buzz. For numbers which are multiples of both 3 and 5, print fizz buzz. Okie dokie. Um, I am currently uh, reading the Programming Principles and Practice Using C++ book by Bjorn Strustrup. Uh, and apologies for butchering that name if that is indeed what I've just done. Hopefully using some of my uh, newfound C++ programming skills, I can write a FizzBuzz application programming solution in uh, C++. So, um, let's um, read the first part of the problem. Let's break it down. Write a program that prints the numbers from 1 to 100. And that should be fairly straightforward. Just going to do this in a loop. Start at 1. I is less than or equal to 100. So we go from 1 to 100 in our loop i plus plus will increment it by one c out i new line we'll do on actually we'll tab them separate them by tabs let's see if that will build we have compiled the first step of our fizz buzz test let's run it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that is one to one hundred perfect it's running the next step, but for multiples of three, print fizz. Okay, so we need to add to our program an if statement. If um, so, if i is divisible by three, so the remainder of i divided by three is equal to zero. Let's get rid of that c out. That's going to be an else. And this C out will be fizz. Let's see what that looks like. So if I is divisible by 3, fizz. Let's build. Let's run. Look at that. 1, 2, fizz for 3. 4, 5, 6, fizz. 7, 8, 9, fizz. 10, 11, 12, fizz. 30, 40, 50. You get the idea. All the numbers up to 99 are divisible by 3 uh, have been replaced with fizz. So, so far so good. Uh, the next step is to, um, for multiples of 5, print buzz. So, we need to add a line, an if statement above um, the divisible by 3 one. Uh, so, if it's divisible by 5, it's buzz. I think it's important to do it above the three, so it's uh, it's um, does, is that right? Yeah, because otherwise the numbers divisible by three and fifteen would get uh, fizz buzz fizz fizz buzz. That might work actually. So that's if. Let's see what that does. Let's see if that compiles. 
doesn't like I now. If I oh else I need an else if does that work for me? Does that work now? Yes, we've compiled. So one, two, three, fizz, four, five, buzz, six, fizz, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now fifteen is divisible by both. So we want that to be fizz buzz, I believe. That's the last part of the solution. For numbers which are multiples of both three and five, print fizz buzz. So three and five, that's going to be 15, 30, 45, 60, etc. So Fifteen, fizz buzz. Is that just going to work? Can I compile and run? Here we go. So, no, we've still got a, just a fizz. So, uh, we need to, do we need to do it like this? So, fifteen is first. Let's just do a numerical order just for neatness. So, fifteen. So we'll test that, that state first, then if it's divisible by 5, then we should get all our fizz and buzzes in the right place. Run, 1, 2, 3 fizz, 4 buzz, 5 is divisible by 5, obviously buzz, fizz, 6, 7, 8, 9 fizz, 10 buzz, 11, 12 fizz, 13, 14, 15 fizz buzz, um, 16, 17, 18, 19, 29, 30 fizz buzz, 45 fizz buzz, looks like we've um, cracked it. So, we can, it's confirmed, we can code our way out of a wet paper bag. That's good news, and uh, a good way to celebrate uh, Programmer's Day by um, apparently being an adequate of an adequate standard of programming, and that's that's uh, good to know for my uh, for my development as a programmer. And um, I shall uh, crack on with uh, another problem. Should uh, an interesting problem crop up, I will record and uh, solve live. Hopefully, for now, goodbye.